Normally when 4-H members come to the Mississippi State University campus, it is to participate in activities and contests like 4-H Congress. But every year, 4-H youth volunteers and other supporters get a chance to relax and enjoy 4-H day at an MSU football game. Farm Week's Amy Taylor has the story. This was a special year for everyone who took part in the annual 4-H day at Mississippi State University football. MSU Extension Service Associate Betty Rawlings says homecoming was chosen for 4-H day and those who participated got a special deal. For $25, the people who attended got a game ticket, a meal ticket, and a great t-shirt. And the point of doing something like this is to make that first connection. When that child gets ready to choose a college, they're going to say, hey, Mississippi State, I've been there for 4-H Congress. I've been there for 4-H Day at MSU football. We just want everybody to feel comfortable being a part of our organization. We serve youth. We do hands-on experiential learning activities, and we're just proud to be a, a, a member you know, of the university. Additionally, Rawlings says 4-H will host another 4-H Day at MSU basketball. Along with okay. celebrating at the tailgate tent, 4-H helped kick off the game with a presentation of the 4-H football to new director of Mississippi State University Extension Service, Dr. Gary Jackson. It was an outstanding honor uh, for me to be selected this year by our 4-H youth to receive the game day ball as the new extension director. So it's a highlight uh, of, of my time at Mississippi State and certainly as a representative of the Extension Service. I proudly have that football uh, displayed in my office for everyone to see, along with a photo of the 4-H officers. In conjunction with the game, the athletics division has been so kind to uh, MSU 4-H to allow us to run some public service announcements on the Jumbotron. And of course, the football was designed in honor of 4-H with its green and white colors. For over a century, 4-H has been impacting the lives of Mississippi youth, and it has a presence in all 82 counties of the state. From Mississippi State University, I'm Amy Taylor reporting.